One thing that's always intrigued me are these people called preppers. You know, these people who think that there is some impending cataclysm in the very near future and who are trying to prepare themselves for it in the hope that they will somehow survive this event that they are convinced is going to happen in the near future when everybody else around them is going to die. You see, these people think that they are preparing for the inevitable. But if you are one of these preppers, I have a question for you. Are you really prepared for the inevitable? And let me explain to you what is actually inevitable with regard to who you are and what you are doing. You see, it's like this. One day, in the not too distant future, you are going to find yourself having to deal with a problem of your own making. Say, for example, you've stockpiled thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars worth of food in order to help you survive in this post-apocalyptic world that you envisage. So, a few years down the line, you're going to see, find yourself faced with a stockpile of food that has gone out of date, that is no longer fit for human consumption, and that is, has become useless to you, useless to anybody else, and worthless. Have you thought about how you're going to deal with that situation? And if you, for example, spend tens of thousands of, your, of dollars of your hard-earned cash on building a nuclear fallout bunker, have you thought about how you're going to deal with getting to, say, the end of your life, dying of old age with this bunker sitting there that was never of any use to you, so now you're going to try and sell this thing, and you're going to try and sell a story that somebody who only needs to look at your history can see, can clearly see is bunk. So you need to somehow try and find somebody who's not only gullible, but stupid and blind as well. And then you might stand a chance of recouping some of the money you wasted on that bunker or on these massive modifications you've made to your house, turning it into a survival den, but nearly unfit for ordinary human habitation, certainly not able to compete with an ordinary, comfortable, cozy house down the street, how are you envisaging you are going to try and sell this house? What is the argument that you are going to present to a potential buyer for this house? And how do you think that they are not going to look at your, your history and say, this is a, mon a house on which an awful lot of money has been wasted and on which I would have to waste an awful lot more money just to bring it back to an state where it can be lived in as in an ordinary, comfortable house. Those are the problems that are inevitable, that you will be facing not too far down the line if you are a prepper. So have you ever thought about how you're going to deal with that? And if you have, please tell me, what are your ideas on the subject? Thank you.